The trailer of the movie 93 Days premiered right here on Channel's television some weeks back. And today we have Nollywood star Kepi Ekweyong Basi, who played the villain Patrick Sawyer. We have him on the program today telling us about the filming experience. There aren't many things more in the public good than preventing a possible Ebola outbreak. I want to know exactly why you are holding one of my nationals in your hospital. I think I'm right. I know I am. Everything in Nigeria is politics, you know that. Ah! Stop! Just stop! Don't tell me to come down. Why? First of um, 93 Days, um, we saw the trailer and it was an off, awesome production. Um, um, share with us, please, um, if you will, um, the experience of, of, of that particular production. First and foremost, let us say, um, give um, all the acknowledgement to the people who truly, honestly deserve this on set for over four months. Um, and we're really happy that we're beginning to generate a lot of awareness in this regard. Um, for us, it was um, friendly and warm. Um, for the rest of us who had to assume characters totally alien to us, the transition wasn't readily because um, beyond what we had gathered through researchers and from personal rela relationships with the existing characters, the producers wanted some extra, like um, Patrick Sawyer had to wear a Liberian accent. He had to be uh, psychologically deranged some, at some point. Some, some little, some creative input that wasn't just ordinary. And it was fun for us trying to achieve what they expected. It wasn't, um, should I say, it wasn't really, really as easy as a lot of people thought. I know, I can't imagine what Shagra Rinzi went through with Danny Glover, trying to tone down his accent and stuff like that, but it was difficult, challenging and rewarding for all of us. What's the problem? We have a patient here, a diplomat brought in by ECOWAS. His temperature is very high. This is a viral infection, a serious infection. I think we have a problem developing here. Nigeria was a mere spectator to the deadly Ebola crisis sweeping West Africa, but now there are fears that country could be on the verge of becoming the next hot zone for the virus, with health officials there warning every nation and every individual is at risk. Lagos is a city of over 21 million people. We simply cannot afford an Ebola outbreak in Lagos. With Patrick Sawyer, the f what I had to do in the very first instance was to research him. Um, I had to try and get into his mind to find out why he came to Nigeria. I tried to, and I, I, I ended up with a completely different interpretation from the research work. I found him to be very, very loyal to his family. I know he was also desperate enough to want to catch up with his daughters, having missed their birthdays in Minnesota. Um, I know he was also warned not to relate with his sister who died eventually, but you know, he couldn't resist not taking care of her, which suggests to me that there was something peculiar about him, I mean, something personable. Uh, what I couldn't crack was why he came to Nigeria with, with, with knowing that he had um, uh, Ebola. But I, I think what happened was that uh, there's some amount of denial which overwhelmed his reasoning at the time because he was focused on meeting with his family back in Minnesota and I don't know why he came to Nigeria. I think I'm right. I know I am. Everything in Nigeria is politics, you know that. Ah! Stop! Just stop! Don't tell me to come down. Why? Oh my God. This is the best we can do. We cannot take anything for granted. It started. A lot of our people had primary contacts. You all need to take your temperature twice a day. Anything above 38 degrees Celsius, you need to tell us right away. Dr. Badamosi, the question is not if we'll get patients, it's when we'll get them. But the real question is, will we be ready to receive them when they get here? It is now time for us to do the job that we are here to do. We can do this. I know what Ebola can do, trust me. Nothing terrifies me more. The only way to deal with this bastard is to deal with it. Everybody's scared here. 
People are scared. Is this what you want? Is this what you are willing to allow to happen in this city? Most of us live our lives without ever really understanding how connected we are. Stay back, stay back. Sir. But then one day, something happens. Something that changes the way you look at the world. Changes your life forever.